Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series of uh, BEO uh, electrical P7 uh, power system engineering uh, exam and this question is about uh, power flow it has several parts I just selected the numerical ones the theoretical ones are easy to uh, basically to uh, to answer you can easily google them and you can easily answer them okay so it has two parts okay and uh, we'll go through uh, each one of them so the first part, and by the way, all exams and power flow after the COVID, they are what we call post power flow problems. So basically, they don't ask you to find the voltages and their angles at each bus, which is the first outcome of the power flow. There you apply gauss seidel neutral absent methods, but always they give you the information that is coming from basically these uh, analysis techniques and then ask you to do some more more analysis finding the power finding the current and so on and so forth so let's see the first question here still this in a, in a power system there are two adjacent buses bus six and bus seven so this is bus number six and bus number number seven and they are connected through an admittance so in between them there is an admittance connected y equal to 1.5 minus j 10. Uh, the load flow is performed and it re in returns, this is what I just mentioned, and in the power flow, it gives you the, uh, the voltage and the angle. So V6 is equal to 1.02 angle of 0, and V7 is equal to 0.98 angle of minus, minus 5. Minus 5. Okay? Uh, everything is per unit. What current flows from 6 to 7 bus? So they want to find I, 6, 7. <laughs> Very straightforward problem. So I from 6 to 7 is equal to V6 minus V7 times the admittance from uh, 6 to 7, which is equal to 1.02 angle of 0 minus 0.98 angle of minus 5 times 1.5 minus j10 everything in per unit so the current would be 1.11 angle of minus 32.7 per unit so very straightforward very very easy question let's see the next one the next one says here a three bus system is shown and where the power 0.8 plus point j6 uh, power delivered from bus B. So from bus B, we have this power going this way to somewhere else. The power that arrives at bus B from C is 0.5 plus J.3. Determine the voltage at bus A. So we wanted to find the voltage at bus A here. And what is the power that is leaving bus A? Okay. Now, power flow actually follows. Uh, uh, KCL, so the power or the S from A to B plus the 0.5 plus J.3 equal to 0.8 plus J.3. So SAB is equal to 0.8 plus J.3.6 minus 0.5 plus J.3, which is equal to 0.3 plus J.3. 3 per unit. So this is the S that flows from, that enters B. This is not what comes from A because part of this power will be lost in the transmission lines. But that is what enters bus, uh, bus B. Now we want to find the current I from A to B. Okay, so the S that enters the bus, S A B is equal to uh, the voltage at B, I, A, B conjugate. And remember here, there is no root 3 at all, or 3, because this is basically in pair units. So we deal that as if it's a single uh, phase system. So S, A, B is equal to V, B times I, A, B conjugate. So your I, A, B conjugate is equal to S, a, B, that enter the bus B, not the one that comes from bus A, uh, divided by V, B. This is equal or leads to that, that I, A, B is equal to S, A, B 
over V B all conjugate. So your I A B will equal to the power that goes into bus P, which is basically 0.3 plus J 0.3 divided by one angle of zero all conjugate. So this is equal to 0.3 minus J 0.3, which give me 0.42 angle of minus 45. So that is the current that enters bus B, but it's the same current that is leaving bus A because there is no shunt element. So it's the same current. Now, this current, IAB is equal to VA minus VB divided by the impedance between them, which is J.1. We know everything except VA. So basically here, 0.42 angle of minus 45 is equal to VA that we don't know minus one angle of zero divided by J.1. So your VA is equal to one angle of zero plus J.1 times 0.42 angle of minus 45. And this will give me a voltage equal to 1.06 angle of 3.24. Now here, as a check, as a self check for your answer, the VA, magnitude is higher than the VB magnitude and this is basically uh, is confirmed by that the reactive power which is the point three is going from A to B because the reactive power goes from the higher voltage magnitude to the lower magnitude voltage magnitude and also the angle of VA is higher than the angle of VB okay which is also correct both correct because the Real power goes from the higher angle to the lower angle. So VA has a higher angle than VB. So this is where the power is flowing. Okay. This is just a qualitative sort of check. So now we know the voltage at A. I need to know how much power is leaving from A. So I need to find SAB, but the one that is leaving bus A, which is equal to VA times IAB conjugate. Now, the voltage here is 1.06 angle of 3.24 times IAB conjugate, which is 0.42, and change the angle to be a plus, plus 45. And this will give me 0.3 plus J.34. So the power that leaves here, 0.3 plus J.34. The power that arrives here, 0.3 plus J.3. So you see the real power that leaves A is the same as the real power that arrives at B because there is no resistance in the line. However, part of the uh, reactive power that is produced at A is consumed in this inductive impedance of the of the transmission line so not all of the power will basically make it to basically to the to bus b part of it is lost in the in the line